Hi guys, um, it's Sarah and I've got a new project for y'all today. Um, so today we're going to be making mosaic aquariums, so paper mosaic aquariums. Um, this is like an octopus I made. Okay, and you can just tell it's all like little pieces of torn paper. Um, so think of an animal you'd want to make for your project, okay? It can be a seahorse, it can be a fish, it can be a starfish. Um, keep it pretty simple though, okay? So I'm going to record from above so you guys can see me start to make one of these things. Um, okay, so what you're going to need is construction paper. Um, I want you to think about dividing the construction paper in terms of color, warm colors and cool colors, okay? So cool colors are purple, green, and blue, okay? So think cold, like the ocean or a lake, water. And then warm colors are yellow, orange, red, pink, things that feel hot like the sun, okay? And then you're going to need a dark color for your background, so like a dark blue, dark green, or a black. Um, and then the other thing you're going to need is a pencil, a white pencil is ideal, but any kind of pencil will work, okay? So first things first is you got to tear lots and lots of little pieces of paper. Um, I'm not going to make you guys watch me tear all the paper because that would be really boring. So I'm just going to do one little demo for you with the purple. Okay, so the way I do it is I tear it in little strips first. Okay, so I've got my little strips, and then I'm going to kind of stack them, and then tear them into sort of square shapes. They don't have to be perfect. That's kind of the charm is that they're all crooked. You'll need a glue stick. Okay, so I think for um, this one, I want to do a seahorse, so I'm going to kind of draw... You probably can barely see it on the camera, but draw a sort of simple version of a seahorse. You can also just do some fish, like a fish tank. Okay, very, very simple seahorse. Um, so now we have our colors broken down into cool colors and warm colors. What I want you to do is fill in the background with your cool colors, okay? So the background's what's behind the main object. So in this one, the main object is the seahorse, the background's everything around it. In this one, the octopus was the foreground, that's the object in front, and then the background's everything behind it. So you don't have to do all one color. You can see on this one I did purple and green and blue, um, and you can kind of mix it up, okay? So let's fill in some of this background. I'm not going to make you guys watch the whole thing, but I'll kind of demo some of it for you. So I like to work in little patches. So I'll put down some glue. And then, let's see, I'm going to do a lot of purple on this one. And you want to kind of keep it as close to the edges as possible. It's almost like a puzzle. And let there be some black paper showing in between everything. So don't overlap your squares. You could also do something fun like mix up all the, all the cool colors. You can tear pieces smaller, like I want to fit something in that little triangle. So once you're done with that patch, you can go move on to another patch. All right, and you're just going to keep going, filling in all the background um, until it's solid. So once you're done with the background, then you're going to move to the foreground or the main object, okay? So for now, for our little seahorse, we're going to only use warm colors on him. Um, and I would start with the details, like his eyeball and stuff, so I'll do his eye first. Let's give him a red eye. Okay, and I'm going to make his body yellow, so 
We'll start filling in all the body. Okay, and then you just keep going until the whole thing is full. Um, and then at the end, if you see any little holes, like, you know, there's little, there's like a little triangle here I might want to fill in or down here, then you can go and do that. But um, other than that, you're finished with your paper and mosaic. It's pretty simple, but they end up looking really cool. So just remember, warm colors in the front on your animal, cool colors in the back on the background. Warm colors are like the sun, red, orange, pink, yellow, and then cool colors, you think of like the ocean or the forest, green, blue, purple. Okay, you guys have fun. I hope I see your projects. Bye.